Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Prissy Prisle, and I'm back with another dazzling, sizzling video. If you're a new subscriber, please don't forget to like, share, comment, as well as subscribe to my channel. But if you are a returning subscriber, a regular Zagula baby, then you should know that you're spectacular. And thank you so so much for the support. Thank you so much for joining my video once again. So today's video is a bit different, and I will be telling you guys about 10 things you need to know before becoming a professional makeup artist. I consider myself a professional makeup artist. I mean like when people hire you to do their makeup and they pay you isn't that being a professional makeup artist um, I consider myself a professional makeup artist so I'll be giving you guys 10 tips of becoming a professional makeup artist right so let's get right into the video tip number one you need to know your target market um, your target market refers to people that you want to make use of your service or the targeted audience or the targeted consumer that you want to make use of your service how how does how is this important and why is this important this is important because it allows you to price your service according to the people that you're targeting so if you are targeting um, for example university students you'll have to price your service according to the target market that you've set for yourself for example if you are targeting people who are for example in the upper class you then have to price your services according to the type of people which are in this case people who are in the upper class so it's very important to know your target market um, this allows you then to kind of like offer your service in the way that accommodates the right people and the right consumer in your business or in your business as a make as a makeup artist so it's very important to know your target market it's very important to know your audience and to know who you're targeting when being a professional makeup Tip artist number two is perfect your skill right this will mean that you will need to continue learning you will need to make sure that your skill is on 100 right um because you need to understand that the moment you decide to start offering a service or you start selling something it means that there's going to be an interaction between two people which is you the person offering the service and the the client or the the the, the customer that you're offering the service to um and the moment they're not happy with what you're giving them that can cause conflict because they it's tense they're not happy with what you're giving them and that can also affect you in a way that you're not going to get business because you're not going to get referred like people are not going to your clients are not going to refer other clients to you so you need to make sure that you perfect your skill you need to make sure that every time you walk away from a client they're happy you're happy and that is how you um, grow your business because it's very important that your business grows um, as a makeup artist so it's very important that you perfect your skill in order to get clients who refer you to other clients but it, as well as making your clients happy so it's very important to perfect your skill is offer the best customer service customer service is very important um, in any business customer service is very important the way you speak to people the way you address people the way you um, communicate with people in general is very important when you're running a business so offering the best customer service is not necessarily giving people gifts because like they've supported your business or anything but just communicating with them properly talking to them properly giving them extra like extra services to your service as well that on its own is something that can bring you more clients or like more customers right so give the person best customer service be friendly speak to the people like just do more you know um it's very important for you to do more than just your job um giving people the best customer service will allow them to come back and use your services again and refer other people because it's very important and that's how you grow your business so you always need to offer the best customer service and sometimes you won't get clients that are always nice like you will not always get people who are always nice like people are going through a lot like people are fighting their own wars but it's very important for you to be nice regardless it's very important for you to give the best customer services to both to any client and don't categorize clients like it, it's very important for you to not categorize clients give your clients the same service give your clients the best service that you give them regardless of who they are regardless of where they come from regardless of their background regardless of yeah basically who they are so 
you will find that as a makeup artist you're not gonna be get booked by the same people you can get booked by a person who lives in like Jairus home in Santon and you can get back booked by a person who just is an ordinary person in the lower class right so you need to treat all both these customers in a way that allows them to see that you run your business um, sufficiently you need to treat these customers in a way that the, the best way possible give them the best customer service regardless of where they are who they come uh, who where they're coming from who they are and so on and so on so it's very important for you to give the best customer service to your client and sometimes you won't find your clients in the best of moods you know sometimes they're going like they are like going through other things and whatever whatever it's very important for you to kind of like accommodate them kind of like make them feel um better sometimes you know make them laugh you know it's very important like it might sound a little too much but it's very important for you to just like do these extra things um as part of your customer service to your clients as well if there's kids talk to the kids play around the kids you know it's very important it's those extra things that um people overlook that are actually important when running a business specifically this specific industry that i am like speaking about because that's the one that i have like experience in so it's very important um this is something that i cannot overstress it's very important for you to kind of like offer the best we're speaking service. about customer service it's very important to be punctual hey it's very important to make sure that if the client books you at 10 o'clock you're there at 10. if the client books you at 12 o'clock you're there at 12 because as much as time might look like something that people have people don't have time you know and the moment you're late to your client you're already inconveniencing them and you're already kind of like yeah inconveniencing them basically you you're already like messing up their program so it's very important as part of customer service for you to be a very punctual person when you're running the business i for one don't own a car so if i'm gonna take five texts to get to my client i better make sure that i leave in a time that allows me to actually take those five texts to get to my client so it's very important to um be organized and that's your customer service it's very important to be hygienic it's very important to have some sort of cleanliness because the moment you are getting to your client with dirty brushes or you with dirty sponges or you don't have um, a clean setup or anything like that that already like kind of like makes the confidence that um, the client has in you to deteriorate to deteriorate so it's very important for you to be a clean person it's very important for you to be hygienic um, especially if you're dealing with people's faces I think it's even worse now because we're living in the middle of a pandemic and because of that you if you're touching people's faces you have to make sure that everything that you do is hygienic which is why we regularly sanitize we, and we regularly make sure that we wash our hands so it's very important Important to be hygienic and that is part, part and puzzle of customer service that is part of customer service so it's and now important. we're getting to the tip that people don't want to talk about but has to be spoken about right as a makeup artist this is tip number four I believe as a makeup artist you need to know your worth in terms of pricing right so a lot of people don't understand um, that makeup is expensive right and the best quality has to be the best quality of work has to be priced high because you're using the best quality of products and you're giving them the best quality of work um and that is something that people don't understand you get people saying ah makeup for 550 or for 600 rand i would rather go to usman bani who does it for 150. i mean that is something that people don't understand and i think it's it's gonna get um and i think that comes from people just generally downgrading and not appreciating the beauty industry um and that's another topic for another day but i think that's where it comes from people generally don't respect um beauty as a career and they don't respect it enough and that makes them to not believe that they need to pay um, a high price for beauty and I think that even happens with even content creators like you get brands that don't respect your worth you don't get you get brands that just like ugh, you know so I think in this in, in the same way um, people don't respect beauty as an industry people don't think that this industry is worthy of being paid for so it's just like 
it, it, it becomes difficult because people or clients will be like no i can get my makeup done for 150 no you can't get the great quality for 150 no you cannot get like this amount you cannot look like this for 150 it's not it's not gonna happen it's not it's not honey no do you understand so um and that on its own is very important when you enter into the industry so you need to know um your worth you need to know the quality of work and you need to know i'm not like i'm not, not going to tell people how much to prize or whatever but like you just need to know how much you're worthy of as a makeup artist tip number six so tip number six is very important why because things have changed a lot in terms of makeup artists and um the type of work that they do and how creative they can get right so you need to know and understand yourself and understand the type of makeup artist you are there are people who genuinely just cannot do color they don't want to do color they don't like doing color they're not creative like that they just prefer going for your soft bits and that's something that they just want to do right i'll make an example in this i hope she doesn't find it very like insulting or anything natasha moko does the best almost the best makeup in the country and she just loves it soft she goes soft so you need to know the type of makeup artist that you are you need to know the type of makeup artist that you want to be and don't do color if color is not your thing do you understand don't do i'm not saying limit yourself that's not the message that i'm sending but don't do something that you don't love because it won't come up well on your client it won't be as great as it, it's supposed to look um and yeah if you don't do it on yourself don't now go do it on someone else just because you want to make an income or you want to get money out of it like it's very important for you to be honest and say this i can't do this i don't want to do or this is not my thing it's very important and a lot of people take no's as something but it's not it's not bad to be honest and say this is not my thing because the most next thing you're trying to do a cut crease and cut crease is not your thing and your client is not happy and your client is not going to refer other clients to you and now your business is not growing and you're asking yourself why this is happening because you're not sticking to what you want to do what you know best and what you have invested in because every business is an investment so even when you're learning and you get a new skill or you're learning via youtube or you're paying someone to teach you how to improve your skill you're making an investment so you do not want to do something that you have not invested in so it's very important for you to know who you are as a makeup artist know what you're interested in know the type of makeup you like doing um as much as trend is very important you also need to know what's going on what's in fashion what's in style what people are liking currently at the same time know where you fall know what you like so that you don't end up not pleasing your clients so basically that is something that is very important Tip number seven is start small i mean in any business you need to start small you start somewhere in any business you start somewhere do not try and be on the level of people who have already invested in their business enough to give a certain quality so one thing you need to know about makeup and makeup industry is that your quality of work can also be determined by the quality of products that you're using not can but actually is determined by the quality of products that you're using and obviously as a beginner makeup artist as somebody who's just gotten into the industry you don't necessarily have everything that you need to produce the same quality as someone who has always been in the industry or who has been in the industry for the past three four five years you understand so it's very important for you to start small start with what you have and produce a quality that aligns with what you have and where you're starting and prize it accordingly because you cannot be giving a quality which is like beginner quality and expect to be prizing the same amount with somebody who has been doing this for four or five years so that is very important it's very important for you to start small i started with like i never like in the beginning i used to use um products from like china more including foundation even which is not good for our skin because i mean anything that we put on our skin has to be good for our skin so i used to use products that are like from 
um, China Mall, sometimes concealers from China Mall and whatever, whatever. But then I realized and I, I grew and I like kind of like learned from other makeup artists that you need to invest in the best quality of makeup to, for you to produce the best quality of work. But that is not even the point. The point is start with what you have. I had like a small bag that I started with. I didn't even have a lot of makeup and... I started using that. I remember my first client was a matriculant, matric student who was um, going to have a trick fail. And up to now, I think a lot about that experience because it's very important to always remember where you started, right? So I think about about it a lot. Um, I think that girl kind of like gave me the confidence that yeah no i really want to do this um i really need i am this is my thing basically she allowed me to have that confidence because she had the confidence in me i mean she turned out she turned out she turned down a professional makeup artist who we don't even know how long had been how long she had been doing makeup for just to make sure that she used my service right so um basically she had confidence in me she allowed me to do her face it was not the greatest bit i will not lie it was not the greatest bit so obviously when you're starting you don't know the difference between the powders you don't know how to incorporate things to make sure that they're well blended you don't know how to do certain things to make sure that your work comes out well so basically they had there was so much flashback like there was Yo, there was so much flashback and she couldn't even take her pictures properly um, but she appreciated nonetheless she paid me for the service and that is like something that I personally appreciated as well so it's very important to kind of like um, start small and always remember where you started basically um, it's very very tip very number important. eight is advertise your work right um, people will not know that there's a person who does makeup unless you advertise. Of course, part of advertising is the clients that you're doing because they are going to refer other clients and whatever, whatever. And trust me, word of mouth is the best advertising. So make sure that you give your client um, the best quality so they can advertise your work for you, right? Um, but in general, invest in advertising. What does that mean? That means that when you're leaving or if you're leaving in the society that we're living in where social media is something that is very important you need to make use of social media in order to, adver to advertise your work if you don't have a facebook page have one if you don't have an instagram page have one make sure you advertise your work on your whatsapp statuses make sure you advertise your work because pressy, people will not know that there is a pressy who does makeup unless pressy advertises herself that is just how it is invest in your advertising and investing in advertising in your in our current generation can mean that you need to invest in a good device in order to advertise well because remember social media is so important in our in our day and age and that is the way people find um, businesses so you might need to invest in a good camera or a good phone in order to make sure that you give the best quality of pictures and videos to advertise yourself because that is something that is very important in our current day and age um yeah so basically you need to advertise yourself because people will know you like people just are not gonna just dream that there is someone who does makeup um and her name is pretty it, 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 it's not gonna work so you need to advertise Tip your work. Is invest in your business right you remember we spoke about starting small which means that you are running the business but you don't have the necessary resource to produce a certain quality you don't have enough products or you don't have enough material for you to produce a certain quality which is high quality of work right so what you need then to do is of course you're starting small but you need to then invest your business right what this means is if you're gonna get clients and if you're getting people who are booking you to do the makeup the money that you make from it you might want to invest into buying products so that you produce a better quality and then that allows you then to price your service at a high Higher price so it's very important for you to then invest in your business the moment you start running it and that is just how you grow as a makeup artist that is how you grow as a business um, and that is very important if you have a vision or if you see yourself somewhere if you see your business somewhere if you if you have a dream of building an empire out of a beauty business or out of the makeup business it's very important for you to invest and in while it. we're speaking about investment and investing in your business it's very important for you 
to be willing to like suffer losses in order to invest in your business right what do i mean by this i mean that sometimes you need to offer your service for very little or for nothing at all just so you can invest in your business um by offering that service to like people who have influence in society for example celebrities offering that service to um, um influencers um without expecting any payment just so you can invest in your business because at the end of the day those people have influence um that allows you to get a clientele right so it's very important but in 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 doing that you need to be careful um to not suffer exploitation you need to not be exploited in the name of um giving you exposure or whatever whatever this is something that you need to like as an individual kind of like be willing to do and you need to offer it when you feel comfortable you need to offer it when you feel like you can do it um and when you feel like it's very um when you feel like it's a necessity in your business if it's not necessary don't do it like if you feel like it's not necessary in your business don't do it but it's something that is helpful it's something that allows your business to grow um yeah and don't offer your service to people who are not willing to do as like to to kind of like reciprocate and or give give out as per agreement right so it's very important for you to have an agreement with this person say no i'm gonna do your makeup for this amount and you can advertise for me by tagging me for example or by making sure that people know that you your makeup was done by me or something like that so it's very important for you to kind of like be on agreement and make sure that both of you kind of fulfill each other's agreement like it's fulfill each other's expectations sorry um yeah so it's very important and the last but not the least tip is that you need to represent your brand right what does this mean right it means that if you are doing makeup you need to show that you're a makeup artist. You need to sh show that you're a makeup artist. This does not necessarily mean that you need to go to every client with makeup on because I know that's very unrealistic because sometimes your call times are early. Sometimes you need to be to a client very early in the morning. It does not, it's not always realistic. It's not always something that is possible, right? But that means that in your spare time, in your free time, you know, you need to get your makeup done to show, like uh, take pictures, put them on social media to show that you represent your brand you represent what you are trying to sell to another person so it's very important right speaking about representing your brand if your brand is cleanliness you need to make sure that you look presentable when you get your client for example you need to make sure that you are clean i'm um, usually makeup artists just wear black i think it's like a very easy and especially with like the type of job that we do foundations and whatever it's a very dirty job so sometimes it's very important to like um people just wear black so basically make sure that you look the part if you're gonna wear black don't just just because it's black you know um you might want to look really nice when you go to your client that allows the client to have confidence in you and also it generally it is part of um good manners to look good when you go to your clients so basically it's very important. and that is it in terms of the tips of how to become a professional makeup artist if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you don't like it it's a free country please give it a thumbs down and i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys for tuning in thank you so so much and don't forget to like share comment as well as subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my Bye. next video